Hi friends, today we're going to talk about doubling and halving and what that means because you're going to see that in some of our problems. And you may remember um, learning about the wobbles. So let's look at what doubling and halving is. So what does double mean? Double means to add the number to itself or you could multiply it by two. We talk about knowing your doubles in math. Um, for instance, you know 2 plus 2 equals 4, so 2 doubled would be 4, or 3 plus 3 is 6, so 3 doubled would be 6. So when you hear the term to double, all you need to do is add that number to itself. If you are told to double the number 5, just do 5 plus 5 and know the double then would be 10. So let's look at doubling in an in and out chart, which you may see in math and some of your math boxes. Um, I have my in and chart created. You can see I have the numbers filled in on the inside, but we need to figure out the numbers on the outside. With the in and out chart, we need to follow the rule. And the rule for this in and out chart is to double. That means we need to double the numbers on the inside to figure out the numbers on the outside. So let's try it. 6 doubled, that means I would have to do 6 plus 6, which would be 12. 3 doubled would be 3 plus 3 is 6. 9 doubled would be 9 plus 9 is 18. 10 doubled would be 10 plus 10 is 20. 100 doubled is 100 plus 100, which would be 200. Now let's talk about halving. Halving is the opposite of doubling. And halving means to break the number into two equal parts. Or it would be the two numbers you would add together to get its double. Let me explain. So if I have the number four, so here's my four dots. If I were to break the number, half the number, I would need to break it into two equal parts. So here's one part, here's two parts. So half of four would be two. If I had the number, let's look at six, and I needed to half the number six, I would break six into two parts, and half of six would be three. So let's work on our halving. Remember, when you have half, you need to think what two equal numbers would equal that number. So I have to think of eight, and I need to think what two numbers would equal eight that are the same. Now I have my in and out chart created. Remember, you follow the rule for the inside. So all my numbers on my inside, all I need to do is follow the rule to get the number on the outside. So eight halved, so I'm thinking what two numbers equal eight? I know that 4 plus 4 equals 8, so half of 8 is 4. 10, what two numbers equal 10? I know 5 plus 5 is 10, so half of 10 is 5. 14, I have to think, what two numbers equal 14? What two same numbers equal 14? I know 7 plus 7 is 14, so half of 14 is 7. 2, half of 2, what two numbers? How do I split the number 2 in half? 1 plus 1 is 2, so half of 2 is 1. 4. Think of it if you have four suckers and you're going to share them equally with a friend. How much would each of you get? You want to have two equal numbers. You would each get 2 because 2 plus 2 is 4. So half of 4 is 2. And then 12. What two numbers equal 12? I know 6 plus 6 is 12, so half of 12 is 6. So let's, let's practice our doubling and halving. Here I have an in and out chart, and the rule for this in and chart is to double. 
you can see that in my in and out chart, I have some numbers on my inside and some numbers on my outside. So I need to be able to figure out the blanks. Now what you need to remember in these in and out charts is that the rule is what you do to only the numbers that you know on the inside and you have to figure out the outside. That's where the rule works. Now in this case, there are some spots where you need to figure out the number on the inside. For instance, I have 12 on the outside, but I don't know what the number is for the inbox over here. So to figure that out, I need to do the opposite of the rule. So I need to think, what's the opposite of double? And that would be half. So for the ones where I know the out number but do not know the in number, I need to half them. So let's start. The first one, I know the in number, so I just follow the rule as is. So I have to double it. Remember, in double, you are just adding the number to itself. So 7 plus 7 is 14. Now when I thought the next one down, I do not know the in number, I only know the out number, so I have to do the opposite of the rule. The opposite of double is half, so I need to half the number 12. So I need to think, how can I split the number 12 into two equal parts? Well, I know 6 plus 6 is 12, so half of 12 would be 6. The next one, I know my in number, so I can just double it. 5 plus 5 is 10. The next one down, I only know the out number, so I know I need to half it because I don't have the in number to double. So I have to think, four, how can I, have, if I have to half the number four, I know two plus two is four, so half of four would be two. And then my last one, I know the in number, so I just do the rule as is. So I have to double the number three, so three plus three is six. Now I want you to practice. I want you to make this in and out chart on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard. Then I want you to, then I want you to pause it. I want you to pause the screen, so push those two lines so you can just look at it and not see the next screen. I want you to fill it out and then when you are ready, I want you to play and see if you get the answers that are correct. So pause the screen right now. All right, you must be ready to check your work. Let's see. So, the rule for my inside is to double. That means my rule for my outside numbers is to half because I'm doing the opposite. So, three, it's doubled, three plus three, six. Seven, doubled, seven plus seven is 14. 10 halved, I know five plus five is 10, so 10 halved is five. Eight halved, is four plus four is eight, so half of eight is four. Nine, I get to double, so nine doubled would be nine plus nine is 18. And 12 halved, I'm thinking what two numbers equal 12? And I know six plus six is 12, so half of 12 is six. How did you do? Great work today.